In yesterday's video, we were explaining how a speaker is pretty much going to fit into any room as long as the room isn't too big. So when you're talking about the Aspen FR20s, the Aspen FR30s or FR10s, they can fit into almost any room as long as it's not too big. So the bigger the room, the bigger the speaker has to get. The smaller the room, you can get away with about anything except something like this. <laughs> now, because <clears throat> these just physically aren't going to fit in the room, right? I have seen these in a New York apartment that couldn't have been more than, oh, 800 square feet. And there was a stairway behind here that they would walk through this and upstairs. I mean, it was nuts. And they sounded terrific. So anyway, OK, off topic. Uh, Milos in Poland, he writes to me and he says, a few months ago, I started my vinyl adventure and bought an entry-level turntable from Rega supplemented by an Audio-Technica cartridge. I did it out of curiosity because I've been listening to my music on CDs for years and was happy with it. The effect of the turntable just blew my mind. This is the sound I was looking for by experimenting with so many DACs. The airiness, the soundstage, the tonality, it beats my CD setup practically in every regard. And I spent five times more on the turn, I uh, and I spent on it five times more than one, uh, oh, uh, the, the, the CD, sorry, the CD system costs five times more than a turntable. Um, CDs make me perceive music as too harsh, screamy in the high frequencies, and not very open. Is it possible to find a CD transport DAC compo to sound more analog? Heck yeah. Of course. And I know, there's everybody going, oh, he's going to recommend his stuff right now. Yeah, I am. Get over it. Of course. I love the stuff that we make. And we don't make things that are screamy and harsh. And even our lower cost products, even our lowest cost products wouldn't give you that. Okay? So you might if you get a chance, investigate some of the PS Audio's products. Of course I'm going to recommend our stuff. I believe in our stuff. This is, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I get, oh, God, it makes me tired. People like, oh, you know. Okay, so. <laughs> but let me say something that would apply to our products and everybody else's products. No CD transport, no CD or uh, DAC is ever going to sound like your analog setup. And that's just a fact of life. Analog setups, turntable, vinyl, they have a very distinct sound to them. No question about it. And in many respects, I like the sound of vinyl uh, uh, better than I do on digital, though I am a committed digital listener. That's mostly all that I listen to. But hey, I put on an album with a good phono stage and a good cartridge, and it sounds heavenly. It is wonderful, but it's different. It's not the same as a DAC, okay? And it will never be the same as a DAC. And there's a whole bunch of reasons that we've talked about on these videos before, and we'll get into it again if you really want to dig down into why that is true. But you will never find a DAC and CD player combo that is going to sound like your turntable. Can you find a CD player, a DAC, that doesn't have those harsh qualities and that sounds musical and open and inviting? Heck yeah! Like I say, we make them and we're not the only people that do. So you got to be a little bit more selective. And you don't have to pay a fortune, OK? But those things exist. The point I want to make is that while all that's true, you're never going to get the same sound from the two technologies. They are different, OK? Thanks. Bye.